hello everyone so we will continue over the PySpark tutorial so in previous video we have understand like how actually we can read any csv file and how actually we can create a data frame out of it in this particular video we are going to see how actually we can read a json file and how actually we can create a data frame with the help of the json file so first we will see how to read a json file how to read a multi-line json file how to create a data frame using a json file you can see we have one of the example this is a single simple example i have taken for the json file this is a simple json file we have how actually we can create a data frame using this simple file and also i have another example where we can see we have a multi-line like uh, we have an array and after that the multiple JSONs are available so how actually we can create a data frame using that also we are going to see i'll open my data bricks in this data bricks so previous video we have created this lab one right so open that go to the workspace so uh, in this workspace we have created one folder so go to that folder lab one what we will do we will create a new notebook and this is our practical tool so i will make the lab two now a python we have selected for the pyspark and our cluster is also ready now what we will do go to the catalog option let's try to upload the data so click on the create table and let's try to upload that file so I have uh, these two files so I will try to upload both the file so this is the two file I have uploaded let me save this both the locations so that it will be easy for us to remember I am saving this into the these two location now I will go back to my uh, notebook lab 2 now if you will see i have a two location one is this location and another file is available into this location so let's see how actually we can create a data frame using that so to create a data frame first we will write df after that we have to write spark dot read dot csv we were using for to read the csv file here we will use a json and after that open a bracket close a bracket and pass the particular location so let's try to read this particular file and let me try to execute you can see it is executing and data frame got created if you want to see a data frame what you can write df dot so if you will see that you can see one email and one name got created so first let me show you the this is the file we have in this file we have a name and we have a email so based on the name and email column got created and the corresponding value we are storing into the rows so this is the first example now the second example we will see let's try to read the another file so in the another file if i will show you the the file is file looks like this this is the file now what we will do we will try to pass the same location so we will write df equal to the spark.read.json and this particular location let me pass if i will pass let me execute now after that if i will show you df so. you can see uh, when i am reading the second file df1 uh, so i am getting this kind of the error because the file looks like this we have a multi line comments here so if you have a multi line and the multiple JSONs are available then what actually you can do whenever you are creating a data frame right spark.read.json here you have to pass one more parameter multi line equal to the true make sure l should be in capital multi line equal to the true if i'll do if i'll execute once again and if i show you df1 dot so now you can see i'm able to read that so we have a color and the value if i'll show you the data here also we have a color column and the value column and the corresponding values are there so multi line equal to true if you'll do that particular issue will get results so yeah that's it in this video